In this video, we're breaking down the latest Waterloo Region real estate stats for September. What's up, what's down, and what it all means for you. Stick around to the end for our expert insights that could give you the edge you need in this changing market. In September, a total of 521 homes were sold in the Waterloo Region through the multiple listing service system of the Cornerstone Association of Realtors. This represents a decrease of 2.1% compared to the same period last year and a decline of 23.5% compared to the average number of homes sold in the previous 10 years for the same month. In September, there was an overall slowdown in home sales, but we continued to see strong demand for detached homes, resulting in an increase in sales for that specific type of property, said Crystal Mora, spokesperson for the Waterloo Region market area. Meanwhile, buyers have a bit more selection than a year ago as inventory is up and homes take a little longer to sell. This can mean a less stressful home buying experience, but for sellers, the current market may require more patience or even adjustment in price expectation. Total residential sales in September included 336 detached homes, up 9.4% from September 2023. 95 townhouses, down 22.1%. 57 condominium units, down 16.2%. 32 semi-detached homes, down 3.0%. In September, the average sale price for all residential properties in Waterloo Region was $788,944. This represents a 2.9% increase compared to September 2023 and a 2.3% increase compared to August 2024. The average price of a detached home was $910,286. This represents a 2.3% increase from September 2023 and an increase of 2.2% compared to August 2024. The average sale price for a townhouse was $595,435. This represents a 6.9% decrease from September 2023 and a decrease of 2.7% compared to August 2024. The average sale price for an apartment-style condominium was $483,331. This represents a decrease of 3.4% from September 2023 and an increase of 4.9% compared to August 2024. The average sale price for a semi-detached home is $654,613. This represents a decrease of 2.9% compared to September 2023 and an increase of 0.1% compared to August 2024. Cornerstone cautions that average sale price information can help establish long-term trends, but does not indicate specific properties have increased or decreased in value. The MLS Home Price Index provides the best way to gauge price trends because averages are strongly distorted by changes in the mix of sales activity from one month to the next. In September, Cornerstone welcomed policy changes from the federal government. These changes include extending mortgage terms to 30 years for first-time home buyers and all buyers of new builds and raising the CMHC insurance cap from $1 million to $1 $1.5 million. These changes will come into effect later this year. Combined with anticipated further interest rate cuts, these adjustments could enable more buyers to purchase their first home. There were 1,313 new listings added to the MLS system in Waterloo Region last month, a decrease of 6.5% compared to September last year and a 20% increase compared to the previous 10-year average for September. The total number of homes available for sale in active status at the end of September was 1,751, an increase of 21.3% compared to September of last year, and 42.2% above the previous 10-year average of 1,232 listings for September. The total inventory across the market increased by 23.1%, resulting in a 3.2-month supply of all property types by the end of September. Condominium apartments had the highest inventory, with 5.5 months supply, followed by townhouses with 3.6 months supply and detached homes with 2.7 months supply. The number of months of inventory represents the time it would take to sell off current inventories at the current sales rate. The average time it took to sell a home in September was 28 days, which is three days longer than the previous month. In September 2023, it took 19 days for a home to sell, and the five-year average is 18 days. Final thoughts. As we wrap up September's market update, it's clear that while overall home sales have slowed, there are still great opportunities for both buyers and sellers. If you're in the market for a detached home, demand remains strong and prices continue to rise slightly. For buyers, the increased inventory and longer selling times could work in your favor, giving you more options and less pressure when making your decision. For sellers, patience may be required in this current market, but with the right pricing strategy and the help of a local realtor, there are still plenty of opportunities to sell. And with upcoming changes, like extended mortgage terms and increased CMHC insurance caps, you could see more buyers entering the market soon. Whether you're buying or selling, now is a good time to stay informed, consider your options, and work closely with a trusted realtor who can guide you through these shifting conditions. I'm Mark with Timo Krafka, a local realtor with Remax Real Estate Center and a member of the Cornerstone Real Estate Board. If you have any questions or thoughts about the September Waterloo Region real estate statistics or the real estate market in general, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me directly. 